Everybody, please listen and get where you can hear me, okay? All right, earlier today, we received a complaint Listen. about a possible intruder. As we normally do, we went into lockdown. There was an additional phone call, now let me finish, of shots fired. The students and the administration here performed perfectly. They locked down well. They barricaded in and they did very well. It allowed us to come onto the campus and do what we're trained to do. Your kids are safe. It appears that these phone calls were made on campus. We're investigating that right now. And there was no validity to the phone calls. Y'all, we're in a scary time right now as a nation, and we're all on edge. And I appreciate y'all listening to me right now. But we've got to get through these moments. As we go home, we just brought all your kids together. I didn't want them to go through this and not talk to them before we all left. We just brought them all into an assembly and explained what happened. As they go home tonight, let them talk about this. Let them vent. But pay attention to what's being said too, y'all. We want to be vigilant and protect our kids, but we can't live in fear. Again, your kids did well, the staff of this school did well, and our police department did well getting here. And I'm proud of them for that. But let's pay attention to what our kids are saying. Y'all, there's guns out there, and we know that. If we know that, let's help do our own parts and make it safe. But who's to say he ain't gonna come back tomorrow and try it again? Okay, that kid was never here. That's my point. We're, right now, kids are gonna be kids sometimes. And, and they don't understand the gravity. They don't know the impact it puts on you when they make these phone calls. But it does put an impact on all of us. And it scares all of us. You've got to drive home these points with your kids. I promise you, we are being vigilant and seeing if there is any real threats against our kids. Because these kids are my kids too. Are y'all putting them on the bus? No, right I'm now, walking away with mine. It, we're in an odd moment. We just right. met with all of them. And right now the administration's figuring out how they can orchestrate releasing them. We're in an uncommon moment. Y'all have been very patient with us and I appreciate that. Just be a little bit more patient. Your kids are safe, okay? Now I have a few detained because I got to talk to them. And we're going to work through that. Before I break up, is there any pressing questions from any of you parents? Yes, ma'am. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. I'm sorry. Okay, that's a real particular thing. Just in general, we're gonna we're gonna help you with that. There was it one more Can question. Can you name the kids that are detained? A absolutely not. And here's why. And this is what we get into. Your children are entitled privacy. Correct. We need time to go through. Because if a child believed something and they were wrong, that's a big difference in trying to start trouble. I owe it to those kids and to those parents that we conduct a fair investigation before we... I know you want answers now, but I want facts. And I'm going to take the time to go through that. Because again, this is a learning environment and we do want our kids to feel safe. All right, I'm going to go back in to help, but I don't want to walk away from a question other than the media. <coughs> How yes, long will it be before we can get our child? I think we are in the process of getting them all released out. I can't answer that directly, but yes, we're working towards that. Because okay. I understand exactly, I know that feeling. Yes, sir. And I want to get your child to you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, well, I know you all are working on it, but how are we supposed to feel safe with sending them tomorrow? Like, exactly. that's my exactly. concern. Well, that's what my thing is. Yeah, okay, and therein lies the concern. And everybody's going to go home and put this on Facebook, and we're going to get ourselves back up in a whirlwind. I promise you. It's already on Facebook. Well, okay, listen to me. Facebook isn't going to solve your problems. We're working with this administration. I don't want to accuse kids of false things. And I want to address those that are doing wrong. 
and we're going to be here tomorrow, and we're going to be we're on this campus every day. Are y'all going to get metal detectors? Check the book bag. I would say this, parents. Those kids report to you. Go through their stuff. Go through their rooms. Some parents don't do that I understand that. I understand that. If your kids are aware of stuff and they relay information to you, please relay it back to the police department or relay it to this school. Don't go on Facebook and put it. Because all it does is slows down a needed process. Y'all, I appreciate your patience. Bear with us. We're going to get through this, okay? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mike, yes. My brother kept hearing all last night that his friends were telling him about tomorrow, everyone's going to come, someone's going to come to school with a gun. And right that, to make sure a lot of there. that is the kids hearing this. And we're going through that. We are going to be a They said Friday night. 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 I'm sorry. You asked about the matter. Yeah. You know, here's your reaction. Right?